All right. Uh, all right. What's up, guys? This is Intel Guard, and we're back for another live. We're podcast. watching the rollouts here with the Red Scout running immediately to the Blue Wind Cell. All right. The Blue Scout is going on with him, which is a very good idea because then the combo doesn't have to deal with them as well. But we see the blue combo has lost their assist, which is very bad because now the soldier is going to die. Why don't All you right. introduce yourself first? Yeah. <laughs> I am Aurea. I am a developer for this game, and I am really into competitive TF2, so I think I'm good at casting, even though I'm not. All right. Anyway, um, as I was saying, this is episode 13, I believe of our analysis series, and we have this very eccentric man here to commentate with us. And he tried to organize this, but it didn't go that well, so I had to step in and save the day. We see this red sentry getting ignored here, but now the Uber finally took it out, fortunately. I think and this that was red a soldier wants to do something with the medic up there. Oh, Blue's not in a good position here because they're being pinched, but at least the scout is safe up there on that upper flank. But they just dived into the combo like an idiot, apparently. I think We're that was a really mistake, like even uh, focusing on the auto gun with uh, using your Uber for that. You can just shoot it, like, wait for it to build, shoot it, like, once or twice, and then just actually use your Uber for the invincibility. Not only that, but you can back up with your entire team, and then basically the constructor is a weak fat scout because the sentry's out of range. And you can spam out the sentry at a distance if you have to later. But enough about tactics, and we're going to see the Red Scout doing distraction up here on the flank. The Blue Scout can't get to him, and now the Red Scout's going to go around bottom. The Blue Scout was thinking about cutting him off, but decided not to, and we're going to see the Red Scout coming up behind the combo here. Running through, dodging two good rockets in a row. And now the Red Scout is running up against the flank to irritate the soldier and just make that little hectic. Sorry guys, that was called a worse. Um, we see the offensive red sentry almost taking out that blue heavy there, who was alone without their medic for a moment, which was going to be very lethal if the sentry wasn't also being spammed out by their assist and flank. I like the offensive NG battle going on around here. Well, not really an but, offensive battle. I think Tiki Tatsi was pyro at first, but then he realized uh, he was just aware that they didn't have a red rocket man, so he switched... Because there's no point in uh, the red sentry is getting built up again, and it can actually oversee the exit to the spawn from that position, which is really bad for blue because now they have to uh, come out of spawn on the backside if they don't want to take chip damage. But the blue heavy doesn't know that, so they jump into enemy fire. Uh, yeah, but they got an Uber died. there, but he fucks up the useless uh, Uber. Uh, able to switch to uh, Cavalier well, to get some damage. The blue in. medic expected to use the Uber to try to take out the red medic, but the scout didn't notice in time. So now instead of now that they know they've made that mistake, the blue scout is going to go to try for a back cap while the red soldier doesn't know they're there. At least Tiki's doing a good job of like deterring what's it called um, their heavy medic combo. But now, if they play their cards right, Sentry oh. takes out the red medic because the soldier stops meat shielding for them. And we um, see... It's going to be a one-for-one one right here, and they're going to have to clamp down on the one. If no, the, the red scout is not going to get away because they were pinched between the heavy and... Or they were cut off successfully by the heavy and NG on blue. Middle placement by you see a heavy or, running uh, headfirst into a sentry again, but because there's nobody else on the sentry to shoot at the heavy, the heavy will out DPS it and get away back to his medic. Sorry for the late call, but it's all right. We you see talk. a very nice setup here by Blue with the soldier behind them, but it's not going to be a big problem because they are in control of their little area here. And we see the two combos fighting, but there is no assist. Blue succeeds anyway, because they were landing their shots better, but it would have been much better if Red or Blue had their assist helping out, of course. Yeah, I think this was a mistake right here by Blue Team. They went in really hard without their support to try to get the intel. And uh, for that mistake, uh, the rest of their team, they do come in, except they don't get heal support, and Tiki Toss goes down. So did they all split up the moment they pushed? Um, they were already scattered. It would have been smarter for their uh, heavy medic to just like stay back in mid, uh, cover the spawn, and then wait for the rest of the team to get in. Especially if they're going for an uh, offensive NG uh, push. The Red Scout is messing around here with the Blue Intel behind their base. He knows that he's going to run into someone if he tries coming up the bottom, but he does it anyway. 
Uh, smartly goes around the other side to avoid taking the damage because the sentry has to avoid, avoid the sentry because of the dead zone cone of fire above and below it. And we see the Intel versus Intel scout battle here, and it's always amazing. But we see the red combo coming in with an Uber. Oh no, that doesn't even matter because the red scout manages to take out the blue one with pellet shot. Echo. The red soldier is trying to annoy the blue combo and succeeds because they distract the blue combo from the red combo attacking their support and now they're split up, getting annoyed by a scout and that's just going to be enough to see the medic die to the red heavy here. Oh, they do manage to get away. Tiki Tots gets in and gets a clutch shot against the healer. So against odds right there, they were able to... Uh... At least save that was, that was absolutely, uh... Whatever. I'm sorry. I can't speak. Hilariously unlikely. Red team is Enough on that, we see this red scout right going now. behind the blue bit, behind the blue team, trying to take out this blue scout on their own here. Lands at least two meat shots so far, but no, they're going to get heckled to death right here. Uh, there's no amount of dodging that you can really do to avoid just random We missed a combo there. versus combo fight on the red base where the uh, the two heavy medics were go going at each other, but the blue died because they weren't distributing their health well enough between each other. If you look at the total deaths, it's actually a pretty equal right now. Or I hope it is because it's like not synced or something. And healing is favoring a uh, red team. Just able to uh, keep their uh, guy alive longer. <clears throat> but of, of course, blue was so much closer together to each other that they managed to focus on the defense. And they took out three quarters of the enemy team. I think it's interesting that neither team are running a uh, rocket. The red net. team is splitting up here across the, the no man's land flank. And we see the red scout going in for a back cap. Well, the entire blue team is distracted by just the red combo. So this red scout here is going to mostly get away, but I think they're going to get cut off by the constructor. Uh, I don't think he notices and actually drops down without even putting in a sentry. This is going to be like... The Constructor decides not to cut off the Red Scout until it's too late. Even if they do kill him now, I think at this point, like, it's... The intel is so close to mid that it's basically a free cap, especially for the Medic. The Medic is the second fastest class in the game, and with that health regen, it's like... It's the prime... Scout and then Medic are the prime carriers for the intel to get it right out of the base. Or to keep finish back, the base. Yeah. Welcome Taking back. My baby brother we just watched the a great conflict match between even teams. Somewhat. Uh, Sorry, interesting I missed to that. note that neither teams ran Rocket Man. I think they had him at first, and then they switched off to a, a little bit more stable uh, engineer and uh, runner build, just so Which they can. So, it's a lot better for conflict because the map has enough slopes that hitting direct rockets is a lot harder than having the uh, extra auto gun aimbot, basically. And Constructor Scout combo is actually very good on that map because of the flanks. And Constructor is a genius assist genius assist class which lets the scout roam as they please. I think if the medic has like, uh, or if the medic is pretty strong, then a rocket man is a better decision than Constructor. Or just go Constructor Rocket Man, because then you'd have an even better uber target along with Overwit. <laughs> 